Dawn in the Laundry Room, take two. Hi, my name's Dawn. A whole bunch of people call me Spice Dawn. What we're going to be talking about today is scarf maintenance. And I'm going to show you why I think I'm an expert on how to clean a scarf because I eat a lot of Scentsy Family Velada chocolate and cheese and I move it around a lot. If I would sit at the counter or the kitchen table like a normal person and eat, that would be fine. However, I use a little tray and I'm always dipping my fringe in chocolate or cheese. So I'm pretty good at washing them. Now, of course, when it's chocolate or cheese, you want to wipe the heavy stuff off first. Okay, but I'm going to show you a couple different methods for scarf washing. Now, you can hand wash, okay? I have this really neat little super skinny uh, dish pan. And what I like about it is it fits under the counter quite nicely, but it pops open to be a nice little dish pan for anything that you do want to hand wash. So you would just put your water in there, one little squirt of the Scentsy Family Layers laundry liquid, that's a mouthful, and hand wash your scarf. Dump it, clear water, rinse. I'm a double rinser, just so you know. Or if you don't want to hand wash, you can buy these little, they call them lingerie bags. <laughs> the days of lingerie are in my past, okay? But I had these from when I used to wear cute suits and pantyhose and heels to work every day. So I had these. This is a very, very uh, fine mesh or you may have seen some like this, which is a wider mesh. Regardless, these are handy, and you can just put these right in the washing machine. Now, after your scarf is all wet, here is, and rinsed, here is how I like to do my first round of drying. I take the scarf, and I lay it out on a towel, and I'm going to suggest you do it a little neater than I'm doing it right now, but you get the idea. Now, what you do is you take the towel and you roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And then you can squish it. Really squish the water out of there. That's better than wringing it or possibly snagging it in some fashion. That's a little more gentle. Now, this part of the towel is going to be damp. Guess what? Flip it over, lay it out again, re-ring it. Okay, so that's my first part of the drying. Now, what I do next is it's going to drip dry a little bit. So I take the scarf and I put it on a hanger. All right. And I hang it right here. Pretty slick. Okay, now it's going to drip dry a little bit. I have a fuzzy from my towel. It's going to drip dry a little bit. What you want to do is either, if you have your dish pan, like stand there for a minute so you can see where it's dripping so your drips go in your dish pan, or just use your towel underneath so that you don't have to be quite as precise. Isn't this slick? My husband put that up for me. Woohoo! Pretty good hubby. Now, what I want to show you next is how I get wrinkles out of my scarf. Now, my mom, she's a really good mom, and she knows I'm kind of addicted to cleaning supplies and cleaning gadgets. I'm a little gadgety. Bought me this Shark Press and Refresh. Now you can get these a couple of places. I think we got this one with a 20% off coupon at Bed Bath and Beyond. But it comes with these little clips. It has these things where it can go over a traditional door. I can't use it on a traditional door because I have a pocket door here. So this was like perfect. So we just put it there. Here's my shark press and refresh. And it is a steamer. It's not like those big old steamers that look like you're walking down the aisle, the hallway at the hospital, <laughs> big IV looking thing, and it spits water all over. It's not like that. This is totally cool and it's very light. No heavier than really a blow dryer. Now, you just steam 
your wrinkles right out of there. Now I have to tell you, the steamer is also really good on getting smells out of your scarf. Now what kind of smells would I get out of my scarf? Why would I have smells on my scarf? Well here, let me tell you. Because one time we got invited to a friend's house and they were having an outdoor like bonfire that night. So we're all sitting around the fire and you know, no matter where you put your chair, the smoke follows you. So I come in and my scarf was like complete bonfire smell. So I just steamed it. I couldn't even believe that even worked. But the steam, honest to Pete, took the smoke smell right out. Now, I don't know how it would work on cigarette smoke. We don't smoke, our friends don't really smoke. But on wood smoke, took it right out of that scarf. So that's my story on scarf maintenance. You can hand wash or you can machine wash. You can hang dry or you can towel roll or do both like I did. You can iron them if you want, but I stopped ironing a long time ago because I got this handy little gadget. So I hope this has helped. Take care.